Hello Virgo, welcome to your horoscope. Okay, so your key phrase is I analyze. You're in Sagittarius time. Sagittarius rules your fourth house. Fourth house is about your heritage, your people, your roots, where you came from. You know, I live in a relatively modern state. It's very recent as far as its formation. I mean, it's very ancient too. But even in its ancientness, there were many linguistic groups of all the native peoples here because there were so many different mountain valleys dividing everybody up and there were so many acorns and there was so much salmon and deer and food to eat that nobody needed to go anywhere. The weather was groovy, you know, Mother Earth was providing for us. I mean, there was no, you know, there was tree tobacco and datura and all kinds of other, and mushrooms and all kinds of other things to kind of occupy our heads. And um, there really wasn't a need for that. And, you know, there's a spirit of the land creates things. It's something I've noticed, you know, and, and Virgo, since you're an earth sign, you'll appreciate this. So California, as much as it's ridiculed by other states and other cultures, is a place of diversity. and It's a place where a lot of people want to come to. And as a result of that, you know, there's a lot of mixed ethnicity. So people don't know what their roots are anymore. They become rootless. <laughs> And a lot of times, I, I think particularly the city of Los Angeles is very interesting in that people tend to not know their neighbors there. And because of that, there's a certain sense of anonymity so that if you do a crime, you'll get away with it because nobody knows you and they'll never see you again. Much more so than even New York City. So responsibility. What were your ancestors like? Even if there were many, even if you have, you know, 16 different ethnicities in your, in your uh, self. We all came off the ark together, man. We're all children of Noah and his sons, you know, and, and their wives. And um, we, need to, we need to think of that again. We need to see ourselves as one. The other thing is, is like when you're in a fourth house period, whatever your feelings are really count a lot. So how you feel about things, your intuition. And the other thing about the fourth house is about history. It's about memory. And it's also about your parents and honoring them, the older adults in your family. You do this, good things will happen. And I think with Mercury in your fourth house right now, there's a consciousness about you. With Venus and Pluto in the fifth house, you're going to become more creative. You're going to become more imaginative. You've got to use that. And even with um, Jupiter in your 11th house, you've got some positive social connections that are going to work for you. 